Hello, welcome back to Charlie's Lessons. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a website that's going to allow you to share videos, files, images, PDFs, anything with your students instantly. The name of the website is snapdrop.net and the only thing you need is to make sure that everyone is on the same network, which to be honest, when you're teaching a class, that tends to be the case with you and your students. The best thing about this website, there's no setup, there's no sign up, you don't have to make an account or remember your password and you can just instantly go to snapdrop.net and start sharing immediately. So let's get set up on snapdrop.net. All we need to do is go to visit snapdrop.net and this is the first thing you see, you're ready to go. If you look at the bottom, you can see what your name is according to Snapdrop. So at this moment, my name is Lime Mongoose which was the name that I always wanted. Now, if you look below, it says you could be discovered by anyone or everyone on this network. And anyone connecting onto the same network is gonna see you as Lime Mongoose. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna play the role of a student in my class. So what I've done is I've just grabbed my mobile phone and I'm gonna visit snapdrop.net and you can see what happens. Actually, I better text my mum first. Mum, love you mum. Okay, so we go to the browser. I'm going to go to snapdrop.net. Oh, look, there's Lime Mongoose, and I am Blush Cobra. Okay, I like that name too, actually. So now I've got two people. I've got Lime Mongoose and Blush Cobra. I want you to imagine that Lime Mongoose is the teacher on the desktop, and Blush Cobra is the student. Now, let's say I want to send my students a file. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my desktop as a teacher and I'm going to click on Blush Cobra. So I'm going to pretend that I'm in class. I'm going to find something that they can work with in class. So let's say I'm doing this lesson on surveys about the future and this file is a PNG. So it's an image file. I could also send a PDF as well. So I'm going to click on this and if I go to my phone or as, as if I was looking as the student, you can see here the image has instantly appeared. I can either choose to ignore it or save it. And if I was a student, I would probably go and try and ignore it, but I'm gonna tell them to save it. So I'm gonna go save. And this file is now on my phone. I'm just gonna open it. And there we go. And this, for example, here, I'm asking my students to make some predictions about the future. And so now imagine I have a group of students and I could just send that file instantly to every single one of my students in the classroom and they would all have the materials right there. Let's imagine I'm gonna do a listening task, but for homework. So I wanna set it for homework and I wanna make sure the students have the audio files on their phone. So again, I just click on Blush Cobra, which is one of my students, and I'm gonna find the audio file. Okay, so I've got a file here called listening mp3. I'm going to open this and now I'm going to find snapdrop on. Okay, here it is file received. I'm going to save this and we're going to go to open. Okay, so there's a listening that I'm gonna give them to do for homework. And also I'd want to accompany this with some tasks. So maybe there's also a PDF and I can send that to them as well. Now, it doesn't always have to be files. You can even send text to your students or messages. To do this, instead of right clicking, we're going to left click. Let's imagine I wanna send a message to my student. Now, this could be a whole text, so let's find an example here. I'm just gonna get some text from the BBC website that's just pretty random. It's just an article about the Wimbledon final. Go onto here, click copy and paste. This message has now appeared here. Go to send. And now I'm gonna check my phone and, oh, I've got a message from my mum. Love you back, son. Go to Snapdrop and message received. I'm here on as if I was my student and I can see the message exactly as I sent it here. Now this student can copy this or just close it, or they can just read it immediately on Snapdrop right here. If the student wants to send a message back, all they have to do is obviously, they don't have a mouse on their phone, but they just have to hold this button down and they get the send the message option. Hello teacher, send. And if I go onto snapdrop.net on the desktop computer, so as if I was a teacher, 
Here's the message I just got from my students. Most teachers share their files with their students by email, on WhatsApp, or even on an LMS like Google Classroom, alternatively using a Google Drive folder. All of these are great options as well, but I like this one because it requires no setup or sign up, and it's really easy to use. Now, obviously the drawback is if, if you're teaching online, for example, then you're probably not gonna be all on the same network, and so SnapDrop is not gonna be an option for you. But for those of you that are working face-to-face -face with students in a classroom, then there's a good chance you're gonna be all using the same Wi-Fi connection, and you can share files and folders with each other instantly using this option. Thank you for watching this video on SnapDrop, a really quick way to share files and texts with your students. I'll see you in the next video.